Hey YouTube, it's your girl Primp and Proper, and I am back with another video. So, so your girl is back. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I put up this post on Instagram and Snapchat and people were just DMing me off the hook. Like I didn't even think it was gonna be like a big deal. I didn't think I was gonna get hundreds, well I didn't get hundreds of DMs, but I didn't think I was gonna get like 10 DMs or 30 DMs about what I was saying. So I'm gonna input, if you didn't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna input the video like right here somewhere. Well, here's the video. So as for me, I have to be very careful because a lot of men fall in love with the idea of me and a lot of women can relate to that where you worked on yourself. You did the necessary work of healing and overcoming hurt, past hurts and all that stuff to make you into this person who is healed and who is whole. And a lot of men like the idea of having someone like that, but they can't handle the reality of you. And that's just what it is. That's why I can't be out here getting chose and I can't be the one that like, pick me, pick me, pick me. No, I'm doing all the choosing. You got to be, you got to have that attitude to all my ladies. You do the choosing. You don't be like, oh, pick me. I'm, I'm the, no, no, no. Cause you're going to end up with the man that like the idea of you can't and can't handle the reality of you. Okay, so now that you watched everything that I said, but it was a story that led up to what I said. And that's the reason why I said what I said. Because I was having a conversation with a group of men and they basically were questioning me about certain things of why I'm not, um, why don't I have kids yet and things like that. And that's how the conversation got started. So that's what led me to say what I said. And I said what I said. Anywho... So I just feel like a lot of people were asking me, well, a lot of men, especially, were at, cause all the women, like they got what I was saying. Cause you know, we, we don't want to court, but all the men were kind of, I don't want to say clueless, but they had questions. They wanted me to go into details. They wanted me to explain more cause they didn't really get what I was trying to say. And I get it. I get it. Cause I guess it was very vague what I was saying, but once you, I guess as a woman, you just catch on really quick. You know, you just know. So, um, I wrote down everything, so I, I, don't, I make sure I explain it thoroughly. So, when I say you do the choosing, because a lot of men had a problem with what that, you do the choosing. Meaning, after you do the necessary work to heal yourself, you become whole, like you know who you are, and it's just certain things that you won't tolerate anymore. What you used to accept in a relationship, you find yourself not even wanting to deal with that anymore. Like you have grown as a person, as an individual. So you won't even allow those toxic behaviors back into your life or the, you know, you get it. Like the things from your past won't, you don't even identify with those things from your past anymore. Cause if you don't do the choosing, you can possibly be chosen by a man that just likes the idea of you and you know, what likes the idea of someone that is healed likes the idea of someone who has her her whole situation together it seems like she has her whole life together they they like the outside and a lot of uh, one man made a point he's saying how do i know the reality of someone if i'm just now getting to know them because you haven't done the necessary work for yourself you haven't been healed but you like someone else that's healed you're attracted to something in someone else that you don't even have yourself you're not healed from past traumas. And here are you trying to get hooked up with this young lady and she's at peace and you're trying to interrupt that whole situation. That's what I mean when you have to do the choosing. Okay, so this is what I wrote. When you're chose, you can possibly be chosen by a man who just fell in love with the idea of you and he hasn't matured enough to handle the revelation of you. So, whether or not you just met this person, you don't know the reality of that person yet, but you have an idea of who that person is. When you're getting to know that person, it's good to have those like little deep conversations. I know a lot of people like, oh, don't make it so deep so fast, but it doesn't even have to be about your personal business. It just has to be about life in general. Like, what do you think about this? Or what are your views on this? And you get to see where that person mindset is and then you could go from there. You don't have to date somebody for a year and then find out like oh my god I just wasted my time no you could do that in a very beginning stage like the first month not even the first date 
you could see if that person is, oh, well, can he, can I build something and not necessarily build into a relationship like boyfriend and girlfriend. It can build into a relationship as friendship. Like, listen, relationship is relationship, but that person has to have some kind of meaning in your life. So a lot of people were like, oh, the pick me spirit. So if you are don't know what the pick me spirit is, a lot of women do this to a lot of other women and I hate it. It's like, for instance, well, if you don't clean his clothes, if you don't cook for him, you are not going to get married. He's not going to put a ring on your finger. So it's just like, I, and then, you know, other women will get under their post like, well, I do that. I make sure I do this. I make sure I do that to keep my man. That's the pick me spirit. I make sure I wash, um, wash his clothes. I make sure I go buy him this. I make sure this. I make sure. Listen, and he still probably won't marry you, sis. Pretty much. That's like the pick me spirit. Like, oh, I do the, I, I do that, I do that. Like, pick me, pick me. I do this. These are my qualifications. Listen, if it's meant, it's meant. It's going to happen. I know women right now who don't cook, and they are happily married. And their men aren't. I'm looking from the outside, but they don't look like they're starving. So, somebody is doing the feeding. And they're happy so and another thing when you do the choosing what I like to call the choosing you know what you want and you know what you don't want most importantly you know what you don't want because a lot of things what you want is not necessarily what's good for you but the things that you know that you do not want I'm not talking about all well, if he not five if he not six Five, I don't want it. No, not those, not those I don't want. The I don't want, like, I don't want someone that's controlling. I don't want someone who, who is not financially stable. I don't want someone who's all over the place. I don't want someone who can't feed my brain. Those important things. So when you meet this guy, if he doesn't have those qualifications, you know that that's not what you want and it's okay. Like, I don't choose you. But that's the whole point of you doing the choosing. Is when you get to say, yeah, nah, you're not for me. Nah, I'm good. Because a lot of times, I know we see, we hear this a lot in church where it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It is in the Bible, you guys. It is in the Bible. In Proverbs 18.22, it says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. But a lot of people get stuck on he who finds a wife. And I totally agree that um, my whole view on that, listen, is yes, um, when a man is ready, he makes the move, like proposal-wise, you know? Because I feel like we kind of stay ready, you know what I'm saying? But, but when they say, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, you have to first know that you're that good thing. I, I totally agree with that Bible verse um, when it comes to that aspect of it. But it's another aspect where I'm like, uh, he who finds a wife, because I feel like, Sometimes a man can find you because he's ready, but that doesn't mean he's the man for you. So the fact that he found you and you're not doing the choosing, you're not weighing out your options, like, or you're not even thinking about, oh, this is not what I want in a relationship. This is not what I want in a marriage. This is not, you know what I'm saying? You actually had him choose you. So the fact that you're not doing the choosing Anybody will come to you because when you don't do the choosing, you put yourself in a position to be chose by anyone who will come to you. Get in the mindset of I'm doing the choosing of who I want to get with, who I want to be with, who I want to spend the rest of my life. You leave that power up to someone else to choose you and it may not even be what you 100% want, but you just choose to settle like, oh, he chose me. He he has a good job. He's a good person. He's nice. I am getting a little older. They are saying I don't have kids yet. <sighs> he chose me. He's ready. He already has the ring. But when you do the choosing, you're not on anyone's timeline. You're not on anyone's time frame. Listen, you're doing the choosing because if you don't do the choosing, anyone will come with you. Anyone who is available and you make yourself available is going to say like oh yeah I, I, I like you especially when you know you're the catch 
know when you're the catch when you have done the necessary work like letting go of um life's traumas healing from past hurts and you know mastering self-love and that's a continuous journey of mastering self-love but learning to love the art of what self-love is that's when you you know that you're the catch that anyone that comes into your presence or gets into a relationship with you is going to benefit in when I said what I mean by benefit is they're going to be able to grow with you they're going to be able to learn something from you and that will better their lives you're going to be a blessing to them so when you know you're the catch it's so easy to be put in a position where anyone will come with you one is going to want the diamond but if anyone can obtain the diamond how valuable is it so when you do the choosing you get to see like who who is really worth having me who is who worked hard enough i don't even want to put it in that aspect but not who works harder but, but who's who's worth my time because my time is valuable so you set that up like i do the choosing like yeah we may be coming to one like you may come to me but i could choose not to entertain you and that is the whole power in choosing being able to choose and not being chosen because i remember it was a time where if a guy liked me i just dated them like whatever of course i had to like them a little bit you know what i'm saying of course i'm not just out here dating everybody that likes me but it was just like it was no qualifications like i just dated the person it's like oh yeah i think he's cute whatever but it's just like it's because i wasn't doing the cho choosing Cause if I was doing the choosing and I knew what I and you can't do the choosing if you didn't go through the necessary work because being able to choose is a power I like to say where you know your worth and you're not pressured by society on what they say is a mandate on your life like oh I, you have to have a child before you're 30 or, or 35 or it's too late no that if you're if you feel like the person that God has for you you haven't met that person yet you're doing the choosing. You're not being chosen because obviously if you're the catch, they're coming. They are coming for you. Because you are a blessing. And people know that. These guys are not dumb, okay? And when a man knows what he wants, another thing what I said was the uh, five year, like I'm not going to be waiting five years to, you know, to marry somebody. Like I'm not going to date someone for five years and wait for him to marry me. And I know some people some people are looking at it like, well, isn't that a whole contradiction on you saying the whole timeline thing? But that goes into the whole aspect of me being a chooser. Like I'm doing the choosing. Because I feel like if a man if I already did the necessary work, right? I'm good, I'm good. We get in a relationship and I get to decipher whether or not, okay, I I could build with this person. I could move I could see myself spending the rest of my life with this person. And I would hope he feels the same way about me. But it, I don't think it takes a man five years to know that. Because if I'm doing the choosing, I'm choosing someone who is like-minded, who has overcame life's obstacles, who have done, who has done the necessary healing in his life. Um, you know, that's not holding on to any bondage. You know, things, toxic behaviors has let go of all of that. A man who is whole on his own. A man who is whole on his own and trust God, I don't think it'll take that man five years to propose and know what he wants. Nah. And it, and if it is a reason why we wait five years, it needs to be a legitimate reason. And it has to be, oh, I'm not waiting on you. That would never be the case. It will have to be like, it's an agreement. Like, okay, I'm doing this. You're doing this. Yeah, let's just wait. It has to be like that, not, oh, I'm compromising because you are not, you're not ready. So I'm putting my life on hold, waiting, hoping that maybe in the sixth year you'll marry me. Oh, my God. That's the pick-me spirit. You waiting for this person to marry you because you think you can't do no better or you love this person. Why don't you love yourself so you can't walk away? Um, yeah. And you feel like he's the catch and you forgot that you're the catch. Don't lose your identity in a relationship. That's the biggest mistake a woman can do. Because you are your own person, whether or not you're married or not. You are your own person. And 
You have to have self-love in order for you to be the person that's doing the choosing. Because if you don't know yourself, not, it's not going to work. Because you don't know what you're choosing for. You haven't gotten that revelation. You, you don't know who you are. So you don't even know the reality. Your reality. Not what you see. I'm talking about who God called you to be. Who, you know, you are not your life's traumas. You're not your past hurts. So by holding on to that baggage, you are something that you're not. You're living something that you're not. So you're ultimately being chosen. And like spirits, no like spirits. So if you're broken, you're going to attract a man that's broken. Let me say that again. Like spirits, no spirits. So if you are a broken person, you are going to attract broken people into your life. Because you don't know yourself, so that is so familiar to you. You can identify with that. So you ultimately get chosen by those people and you just go with the flow. So knowing your worth as a woman, just because he wants you, doesn't mean he deserves you. Just because a man wants you does not mean he deserves you. So, yeah. So that's basically, that summed up my whole little, I don't even want to say rampage, my whole little talk on Instagram. But some a guy had a, a couple of questions for me. After a woman gets through a healing process and attain who she is as a woman, a person and even a spouse, how does she maintain balance with being independent but also dependent on the person she loves? I, Because I don't feel like they're, they're mutually exclusive. A, a woman doing the necessary work for herself doesn't mean that she won't be dependent on her husband. And I hate to use the word dependent, that doesn't mean that she will lack love for her husband or have no need, that's the word, no need for her husband. I feel like that creates a healthy relationship because if that woman goes into a relationship still holding on to things that happened to her in her childhood, um, old relationships, baggage, she comes into the relate um, to this relationship being too dependent. And it's not that person's job to to take care of all of that. That's up to you as an individual to do the necessary work for yourself for you to be a better person. Because in order for you to know yourself, I always say you have to look up, you have to know God in order for you to truly know who you are and overcome these things that happen to you in life. Because life is... <laughs> A woman can still be still be whole and still need her spouse. Yeah. And it says, how does she maintain the balance with being independent and also dependent? Easy. Always, when you're independent, and I know a lot of women who like make a lot of money who are too independent. You know what I'm saying? They leave no room for the man. So the man feels like, why am I here? Like, you could do everything by yourself. Like, you make no room for me. You have to make room for the man. The next question is, with us being in a modern age of times and living a life of dating and courting has completely changed, what are some things from the old days that you feel that are or were valuable in every relationship from both a man and a woman's relativity? Well, I just feel like <laughs> I was born in the 90s. I just don't, and you know, I can consider me actually really dating in the 2000s. So I think dating has pretty much been the same. So I can't really say what I liked about the old age because I don't, my experience was very different. 
I didn't even do the whole courting thing. It's not until I got saved and started reading about different relationships, like this whole celibacy journey, I learned about courting because I never heard of that. Probably in like listening to shows or whatever, but never understood what courting was. It's okay to be submissive, but submissive to the right person. And submiss submission is not always a a bad thing i think people look at it like oh women are their own we don't have to be this but it's, it's okay to be submissive to the right person and that person if you're submissive to the right person i don't feel like it feels like control i feel like it, it feels like a, a equilibrium because not only do you have to be submissive to him but he, um he also has to be submissive to to you and i feel like that's what people fail to realize is that it's a two-way street just because it's not only submission is not only due to the woman not due to the woman that's but submission is not only due to the man but it has to be due to the woman as well it has to be reciprocated back to the woman i feel like that's how the relationship will work it's not like do what i say is how can i serve you and when you serve somebody it's just some something in that jesus was a servant so yeah, when you serve somebody, it's not control. Like, oh, you need to do this. No, like, no one likes to feel like they have a second parent, and, and there's in the next phase of their life that like they're going through childhood all over again. Like, no, that's not submission. That's control, and run. Okay, run. This whole journey that I had to go on to be the chooser, the person that's okay. I'll date you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look like. And then when I get to know you, like, eh. It doesn't take you long to see if that person is for you. I feel like, man, you guys need to do the necessary work as well. Do not leave that all up to us and you get into a relationship with a woman who have done, has done the necessary work and you end up messing her life up. So I feel like, yeah, men do the necessary work so we are not in it by ourselves or we're left trying to fix you because you know we are women are fixers by nature so don't don't do that to us do the necessary work so you can be an outstanding husband and a so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i answered everyone's question i hope i brought some kind of clarity and remember ladies you do the choosing you do the choosing you do the necessary work within yourself so you do the choosing you don't get chose because you might get chose by the wrong one the counterfeit and we want to avoid all of that because ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for heartbreak ain't nobody got we just trying to level up in 2020 we trying to build businesses get careers make money fall in love you know all the good stuff all the positive stuff everything negative like god cast it in the deep blue sea if you have any questions feel free to comment below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share 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 i am on a goal to have a thousand subscribers before 2020 just watch it bye you guys love you